Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have got our boy Tien uh, from the 23rd World Tournament. We can go ahead and rainbow this guy. I think this guy is a pretty decent character. Um, so Tien, uh, he wants to additional and he also wants to dodge. Those are kind of like the two main things for this TN. So, of course, we're going to give him a lot of additional. We're going to give him a lot of dodge um, and hopefully try and maximize those abilities of his to not get hit. Hopefully, we'll get good RNG with him shooting out um, additional supers as well. I think that this character could be very fun. Now, one thing that's fascinating about this character is that his ID is very old. This pickle, or excuse me, this TN has been sitting around for quite a while and they haven't done anything with him. I think that's very interesting. So I think the chances are pretty decent that this TN may have been intended to be a Dokkan Fest. Perhaps this guy was going to be the Dokkan Fest instead of Videl back in uh, 2021. Maybe that, you know, this was going to be the April Fool's Day Dokkan Fest. Who knows? I'm sure his kit, of course, was updated because this guy is way too good to be a, a 2020 or 2021 character. But... Uh, they did at least design a lot of aspects of this character, uh, you know, several years ago, which is interesting. So, uh, we rainbowed him. Uh, let me get him up to link level 10, and we will test out this banner unit TN. All right, guys, we are here in an event with our boy TN. Um, again, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this TN. I, I think that Dokkan... Um, it's important that Dokkan releases really strong, you know, 200% leaders, very powerful pillars, right? These Dokkan Fest exclusives, you know, summonable LRs, carnival LRs, those are important. But a lot of times, these characters can't just do it themselves. Goku, is he's just a Saiyan, right? A Goku Saiyan, he's fine. The, the banner units could suck for him, it doesn't matter. But banner units can be so important. Now, Tien is one of these very important characters because Tien, I mean, when you look at these teams he's on, Worthy Rival is probably in a pretty good spot. I mean, we could always use more options for that type of team, but it's probably in a good spot. World Tournament, this one, historically, this has been the worst team in the game, basically since categories have begun. This has been the worst category in the game. Well, now it's not like that anymore. This category is actually legit. This is a very strong category. Uh, at this point, because not only did they nail Goku, they nailed Piccolo Jr., but then Krillin and Tien, the two Banny units, are godly as well, right? And then Earthlings, of course, we could always use more help for that. Bond of Friendship, more options is good. Earthbred Fighters is probably one of the strongest teams in the game. That doesn't really need help, but, you know, it's good. I like this Tien. Um, so let's just kind of go over, like, what he's doing, right? So we can look at that 123k defense. Certainly is not that impressive. Um, but let's dig a little deeper, right? So his super attack, he gets 30% attack and defense for one turn and a medium chance to stun. I do like the stun in this character because, again, this guy in, you know, maybe like Super Battle Road stages or something like that, literally we just got Earthling Extreme Super Battle Road where this TN is fantastic in there, right? Because he could super five times per turn. Every super, you know, 30% chance to stun. You guys know, stunning will win you Super Battle Royale fights. Now, Super Battle Royale is not the most difficult content in the world, but it does matter. Um, this TN only dodges, by the way, against one enemy. But with his ability to super attack so many times and then also have that stun, um, I do think that he's still very effective in Super Battle Royale content, right? That stun is, of course, pretty good there. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, TN here, he gets three key, 100% attack, and even start a turn. But then the three additionals right here that he does, each of which has a high chance to be a super. So he could super attack five times. This is a character. I feel like a lot of people would give this guy a ton of additional. You probably don't need that much additional for him. Because Tien is always doing four attacks at minimum, that's four chances for your hidden potential system additional to proc right? So it's like, I, I think giving him, you know, like 8 to like 12, 13 range is probably going to be good enough to proc it nearly every time because you're going to have so many different opportunities, right? I, like, I don't think you need, you don't, like going like above 15 is probably overkill uh, just by how many times he attacks, right? He gets 100% on super attack and then he gets 44% attack and defense within the same turn with each super attack performed and then a high chance to dodge. So, Tien, again, is going to really be pounding out these super attacks. If he does, I mean, we could super once and then do four normals, which would suck. Uh, I mean, if you are a damage stickler, you could definitely go crit for this guy. 
Um, I like the idea of crit on this TN because he's probably going to be doing a lot of normal attacks, right? Normal, 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 normal is probably what you're going to see, you know, here and there. And crits on normals can be very effective, but for me, I'm playing more towards the fact that I think he will be able to, you know, get repeated super attacks out and then just sort of maximize his ability to dodge, right? He already has a high chance to dodge against one enemy and then giving him the extra 25% uh, chance. Well, I say extra 25% chance, but it's a separate, you know, proc. You guys get what I'm saying. Uh, Tien's Link set right here. He has Crane School, Cold Judgment, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. Uh, all of a sudden, see, dude, one celebration happens, and then all of a sudden, you know, some of these links, like Incredible Adventure and Guidance of the Dragon Balls, we have a lot of very good options. Dodge this for me, baby girl. Okay, thank you, Tien. Thank you so much. All right, not a great start, <laughs> obviously. Okay, it's okay. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. No worries. No worries. No worries. It's a, just a simple dodge next time. Uh, Tien, <laughs> you know, uh, come through, uh, playboy. All right, normal. Oh, God, normal. Okay, there's a super attack. <laughs> all right, all right. Not, not really uh, the most impressive start right here. All right, and then one more. Yep, and then that, we got the hit on potential system additional normal right there. A little, you know, unfortunate. So we did, what, two supers and three normal attacks? It's exactly why I think crit could actually be good on this guy. And again, somewhere in like that 8 to 12 to 13, something like that range for additional will probably be good for TN. Because it means he's going to be able to proc that additional, you know, very often, I would say. I do like this character. Um, I think it's it's very simple. Like, you know, I hear people saying, like, oh, I'm not really so much of a fan of what Dokkan has done with a lot of these characters. Like, if they don't have, you know, guard or damage reduction, it feels like they're just, like, worthless at this point. To be fair, characters with these mechanics have always been better, right? Tech Gohan, why is he still good? Because, he, you know, he was guarding back then, right? Um, we go, now at this point, we go years and years and years back. In Janemba, got his EZA in 2018, and he only becomes a ridiculous, nearly bet. In Janemba was like the best EZA TUR for like a year and a half or something like that. Like, it was like stunning how busted In Janemba was back when like Super Battle Road was the really tough content, right? Um, so it's like, th those mechanics have always been good. Now, it's like, of course, with how strong the bosses are, we definitely can feel these effects, right, of wanting even more, um, you know, these characters to sort of... What do I want to do here? I, you know, I do... Hmm. I I want this rotation of Jackie Chun, Krillin, and Tien right here. So I want to do this. I think we, we will be completely... Uh, the other thing is Jackie Chun, he is not really too good right here. Um, damn, this kind of sucks. I'm going to do this. So not really, you know, we could get some extra links activated for TN. Remember, Jackie Chun is nice support. But I want to do this and then just hope that uh, second form freeze is not going to super attack us right away. Uh, TN not dodging that turn one was kind of, uh, you know, a, a RIP moment. Okay, we, we should be good. The fact that TN is getting a super attack off, hopefully Jackie Chun doesn't get type disadvantage supered right away. If Jackie Chun supers, we're going to be in a really good spot right here. Okay, I, but we do... Yeah, okay, normal. Normal, 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 normal. Okay, yep, thank you. No hidden potential system additional either. Oh my god, dude. Okay. This, <laughs> listen, I, this is one of these characters where it's like, I totally see his value all over the place, but I have very bad luck when it comes to, like, you know, additionals being on my side. I talk about this a lot. My dodge luck typically is incredible, but this luck for me where, you know, additional needs to be like a super attack, it never comes through. Um, and again, all those chances for TN to do the super, it's just a coin flip. Um, I've seen a misconception before where people thought that um, more hidden potential system additional would give you a better chance to get like you know, super attacks from some of these, and, and it, it does not factor in at all, right? The hidden potential system additional number, all that does is a percent chance for you to proc the hidden potential system additional, right? Like, giving more additional does not make a character like this TN get those additional supers more often. It doesn't work that way, right? Uh, Yajirobe could potentially take some damage here, 
but it probably wouldn't be the biggest deal ever um, because he does have his KO surviving mechanic. Okay, Freeze is just not supering. Sure, whatever. Yeah, have fun. Knock yourself out, Playboy. Don't super at all. That's fine. <laughs> sure. All right, now this next turn is going to be real juicy for TN. Uh, we're going to have Jackie Chun support up as well as support from uh, Krillin. Right, I I'm going to do the video. I, I decided to do the video on TN first. So I'm going to do a video on Krillin. I got to do one on Cyborg Tao still. I actually still have to finish my last... Um, I got to do the level 10 link video for... What's his name, too? Oh, I hope Yadrobi finishes him right here. I want Freeze out of a full bar of health going into this next rotation. No way. Are you kidding me? We didn't kill him? Ugh, th this video is becoming annoying already. I'm getting annoyed. Uh, everything is going wrong. All right, well... Sick, dude. Incredible rotation we got going on right here. So, I mean, this is what I want for TN, but the problem here, right, nice healing, uh, is the fact that we're going to do one super and Frieza dies, right? Like, oh, oops. So he's at 4.99. Again, he could do five of those. And remember, every super attack effect, he's getting 30% attack and defense, and then he also gets 44% attack and defense within the same turn with each super attack performed from his passive. So he is really, really able to build up quite a bit. Um, and now here we get to this issue. I, I like this Goku. I think he's balanced well. I still think he's ridiculously powerful, right? I, I don't have a problem with the Goku's design. I do wish Dokkan could throw us a bone, though, and let us know. Like, there's a really good chance one of our Gokus is guarding and one is not. If, if Dokkan could just give us a guard symbol... Like, why not just have a little symbol, like a shield symbol or not? Oh, look, the friend Goku is guarding with his shield symbol right there. My Goku's not guarding, so we'll put the friend Goku in the problematic spot. That would really fix chance to guard characters. Because the problem with characters where you have a chance to guard is you don't know. Should we trust Goku in slot one or not? Like, I, I, I don't know if we should. But if we would just get that little, you know, like a symbol, then we could, you know, play accordingly. I think that would be a massive buff. And that, it, it would be good for the game, because if they did that, that would massively improve chance to guard characters. And then Dokkan could release more characters with a chance to guard, rather than just guaranteed guard, which is honestly kind of, I mean, it is kind of overpowered, right? I'm just going to trust my Goku, I don't care. All right, um, Goku, you, you got it, bruh. He's fine. We're just throwing Goku out there, and we're letting him cook. I'm just letting him cook. Go ahead. Worst comes to worst, he will nullify it. He didn't. But he is guarding. Okay, W, W. Okay. <laughs> wow. My This video so far, my dodge luck is vanishing. Uh, so Tien didn't dodge. Now Goku didn't dodge. And Goku didn't get the nullification either. Remember, that nullification is very, very good. Uh, that 50... I, I love characters having nullifications really really huge asset because i do anticipate in the future we are going to see bosses show up that are canceling dodge that's that's got to be something dokkan does um because i you know i, I don't want to get into the full long thing but dodge is too strong so I, I think a good way for dokkan to sort of counteract that um, is by putting out bosses you know that that cancel dodge like it, it's like I, I think right now like of all the toughest fights we do have one that cancels dodge so, basically, you know, we have, like, Sin, and then the, the last fight to the four red zones, and then, like, Cell Max. So, there's essentially, like, six, I think, like, mega difficult. I mean, there's more, right? Like, red zone metal cooler stuff, red zone final form cooler stuff, all those guys. But, like, you know, the really, like, super tough fights. Um, I do think one more of them probably should cancel dodge. It, 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 it's, it's just something that would be healthy, because I do look at a lot of characters these days, and I just don't really see much incentive. To not go full dodge. It's just too strong, right? Alright, so this is a good turn for TN. Um, and the one thing I really like with kind of like this, you know, world tournament slash Earthbred Fighters, kind of like Earthling core we have going on here, is that a lot of these characters are linking rather well, right? We could even run Yamcha on this team. Yamcha would be very effective. I mean, hell, we could run Piccolo Jr. on this team. It would be very effective. Um, it's a nice... We, we've got a nice little setup going. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. All right, let's see what Tien can do. I, I just, you know, give me a turn, Tien, where you're giving us, like, three or four supers. That's what we're looking for. We want a nice three or four super attack turn from our boy right here. Um, I, I might 
cut after this and get that Krillin Jackie Chun rotation. All right, normal. Airs a second super attack. Nice. Jumps up to 6 million. See, dude, if he does like five supers, 10's damage and his defense could be crazy. Because remember, it's not just his damage that's going up with every super attack he does, but also his defense, right? He's getting the 30% defense super attack effect and then the 44% defense uh, within the same turn with each super attack performed. So it, it's just going to allow Tien to, to get to a really good offense and defensive level. I could see Tien being very valuable on some of these teams he just as sort of like a floater. I, I think like he, he could be a very effective sort of like banner unit floating character. Um, depending upon how many super attacks Tien gets, I definitely think he's capable of getting to a level. Um, I'm going to put... We're going to put Carnival Goku in sub one right here. Um, I definitely think Tien is capable of getting to a level uh, where, like, you know, he, he's tanking a lot of the big boss normal attacks, right? Which is so important. All right, Freeze is super right away, but, I mean, this 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 Goku, you know, he's fully built up. Okay. I was wondering, could we get the standby for Goku? I still... I got the standby once in the 55% video for Goku, and I've never gotten it since. That's... Dude, that standby, it's, it's hard. It's it's really hard to get. It's it's not easy to get it, right? Yeah, we're, we're not... We're above the threshold right there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what Tien does right here. Um, this could be a little bit um, scary, though. You know, if, if Frieza supers right away and Tien doesn't dodge, you know, that, that could be very bad, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to put Tien in slot one. We're going to let him cook right here. I could I could have put Krillin in slot one as well. I think Krillin probably would be able to handle it better than Tien if Krillin got hit. But let's see how we do. Just need Tien to dodge. That's all. And there's the super attack. Yep. And he dodged it. Perfect. That's all we're looking for is dodges. Dodge them supers, boy. All right. So Tien is at, what, 4.18? Okay. I just want, like, a triple super turn. Man, he could do five. Give me three. Three is all I need. All we're looking for. I'm not, we're not being super mega greedy today. We just just give us a couple, Tien. Just give us a couple, bruh. Just give us a couple, Tien. I know we have not gotten the first additional to proc a super once yet. There we go. All right, there he goes. Okay, sack at one. Beautiful, beautiful. Goat Tien. All right, keep going though. That's two. Keep going. Okay, that's normal. Normal. All right, hidden potential system. We didn't get it again. Ah. Damn, with two supers, he's still taking damage from this Frieza, too. Ah, I don't know. Maybe maybe my thoughts of, like, you know, around, like, that 10 additional range, maybe that's not so good. We, we, or maybe we've just had ridiculously terrible luck so far in this video. I don't know. Bruh. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm going to... We'll, we'll cut ahead till the next turn here. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Goku's not guarding at the end there, but that's fine because he has type advantage. All right, let's see what we got right here. So we have a nice juicer of a rotation for Tien. I mean, we got Yajirobe support up. We got, you know, this very, very powerful turn. Um, I think I'll probably just rock Jackie Chun in slot one right here. He, he should be pretty effective with his type advantage. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we got Tien in slot two. All right, Tien, show us some stuff, brah. Uh, 165 again. Remember, Tien is getting 30% defense with every super attack effect. And then the 44% defense um, with every super attack he does from his passive, right? Uh, and then Jackie Chun is giving 50% uh, support, and then Krillin is giving 40% support. So we are heavily juiced on support right here, plus we do also have Yajirobe around. Um, remember, his three-turn support is very good. Yajirobe still is pretty strong. I, I do hope they give more characters the Yajirobe and Dr. Jiro and Dr. Mew level support. Only thing is Dr. Jiro and Dr. Mew have, like, no defense at all. They have no defensive mechanics and no defense, right? They're horrendous. I don't know what they were thinking with that character, right? Yajirobe at least has got the dodge and the heals and stuff. There's it. There we go. There he is. There he is. Oh! Give us one more. That's our three is good enough. I'm, I'm content. One more. All right, that's a normal. One more. Do it. 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 No! Hit him. Potential system additional normal. I love how he did crit multiple times there, too. Perfect. Okay. So, I mean, there we go. There is this Tien, right? I, I do think Tien is really good. And maybe... You, I, I do think you can make a pretty good case for crit for this character, right? Because crits could really make those normals hit hard. 
But, I mean, if he's doing that many supers, I mean, imagine if he does, you know, four crit supers for just a banner unit. He could be doing very impressive damage. Pretty good. Um, should I play this turn out, too? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Goku is guarding for sure, right, at the start right here. My Goku, he's guarding for show. For show. I, I'm just, I'm just adding this in just in case. Oh, no, that's no good. Uh, well, <laughs> let's hope it freezes supering that we do dodge. Let me just, let me just get that out of the way right there. All right, th this is, see, the problem is, is that if you don't go way out of your way to get that revive for Goku, you could be left in a very scary position. Carnival Goku? Uh, it's gonna be close. And even if he gets supered, I, he's gonna take a huge amount of damage. Yeah, let's see this. Let's let's see how Carnival Goku does right here. Uh, you know, for me to continue to like this Carnival Goku, I, they need to show me something. I want less than 500k right here out of you. Ooh, we got the, the okay Hit additional. Cause we wait, did we get the 24 key? I can't remember actually. All right, let's see. It, it, he's never super -in? We're not super at all this run. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure would have been nice if Frieza could have done this, you know, back like back when I was doing a lot of those no-item challenge runs. That would have been pretty good. All right, buddy, he's just like, yeah, I'm not super at all. All right, Frieza, sure. All right, this is the Might of 12 Eyes TN. His leader skill is the Worthy Rival or World Tournament Category Key 3 and 130% of stats. His super attack is Quadruplication which raises attack and defense by 30% for one turn, does supreme damage to the enemy, and then he has a medium chance of 30% chance to stun. That is pretty useful um, for maybe like Super Battle Road, Battlefield, perhaps even like the first stage of some of the really tough fights, right? I like that. I mean, I mean, with his ability to super a lot of times, it means you have a lot of chances to potentially get that stun. His passive skill, 12 eyes. He gets three key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he launches three additionals, each of which has a high chance of being a super attack. That, of course, is a 50% chance to be a super attack. Uh, then he gets 100% attack when performing a super attack. Then Tien gets 44% attack and defense within the same turn with each super attack performed. And then finally, he gets a high chance to dodge against one enemy. That, of course, is a 50% chance to dodge. His links are Crane School, Cold Judgment, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. It is such a shame that, like, you know, like, Crane School and Dodon Ray and, like, those types of links, you know, Telekinesis, stuff like that, like, I, you know, imagine how much better it might be for some of these characters if they would just get rid of those. I mean, I'm sure that they do balance the units, like, if, all right, like, we know this unit's gonna have this shitty link, so we'll make sure to make the character a little bit extra strong, I guess. I don't know, maybe they do that. But it is such a shame, Crane School. I mean, you're just not gonna get that activated um, ever, really. Uh, then 12 key multiplier is 140%, typical number for TN right here. Uh, and then our boy is on not that many category teams, uh, but he is on uh, quite a few teams that uh, could use the help. Uh, he's here on the Worthy Rival team. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll certainly take this, right? More options for this team is good, right? More options, the better. Uh, Tien, of course, is also over here on the World Tournament category team, uh, which, again, historically has been, like, the worst team in the game. But now it, it's just massively improved, right? Huge improvement by the World Tournament team with this recent uh, Golden Week celebration. Uh, Tien is also over here on the Earthling category team. We've gotten some recent uh, good additions to that team. So that, of course, is a W. Uh, then Tien is also over here on the Bond of Friendship uh, category team. Another team. I mean, I don't mind this team getting more options, right? I mean, there is a lot of characters on here. But, you know, you could change the type of setup you're going to run depending upon what event you're going into and, you know, other things like that. Uh, then down here, uh, we also have the Earthbred fighter category team uh this is a definitely like the number one team that tn didn't actually need to buff right like this team is already ridiculous but i mean more options again is always a good thing not a bad thing so let me know what you guys think of this banning in a tn honestly i think he's pretty good 
Um, I think being able to do all these super attacks, he could do some pretty good damage. They gave him that 50% chance to dodge, so he could be effective against the toughest bosses. Um, he has to stun, so even without his dodge uh, in Super Battle Road stages, I think he could be pretty effective. Uh, not bad. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this TN. For a banner unit, I'd say this is pretty good.